Hey everybody, it's Mark Russian and markrushin.com. It's Thursday, January 6, 2022. This video's got a whole lot of ice going on, and boy, it's cold outside. Zero degrees Fahrenheit was the high here in Iowa City today. Wind's blowing 20 miles an hour. It's going to get cold tonight, minus 10 Fahrenheit or something. Tomorrow will be a little bit better, so seven or eight above. It'll be in the 30s on Saturday. It dips down a little bit, then back up into the 30s next week. So it's all hope is not lost, unlike last year where I think we went into the deep freeze at the end of December and we didn't climb out of it until about June where we were, and we were essentially singing Oh Canada by, by the end of winter. Oh my God, it's terrible. So today I got an, every Thursday, there is a new Disquiet Hunto that comes out. Disquiet Hunto is, uh, was started by and, and managed by Mark Wiedenbaum of Disquiet.com. It is, it is a, uh, group of and group is loosely a loose term in which musicians uh respond to weekly fast turnaround assignments to compose record and share new music the idea is to use constraints as a springboard for creativity and so this has been going on for 10 years they're weekly projects uh they mark sends out the email on thursday and yet you have until monday to complete them and share them and all that sort of stuff of course you can probably go back through and and work on things if you wanted to, but, but, uh, I, I keep things going. So one thing I always do is I always work. I don't, you don't have to do every week's assignment or anything like that. One year, I think I only did five, but I always try to do, I always do the ice one. I've always done the ice one. So this is my 11th recording of, and it starts off, uh, what's the instructions here? It's, uh, uh, please record the sound of an ice cube rattling in a glass and make something of it. And so I have many, many years of, of sample recordings and then sample recordings that have been processed. So that's one thing that you can do as far as uh, creative in this is you can go take your past recordings or other people's past recordings if there are certain Creative Commons type and go and process them further and make something of it, right? And so I what I try to do with the ice is... I. And most of my recordings, I try not to have them be more than a minute long, just because people only have so much time. And I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm writing a song, you know, I'm, I'm making a recording, I'm making some sound art, right? So this week uh, was this the same one as the past, uh, I guess this is the 11th one. So uh, the past 10 years. And so what I decided to do was, um, uh, last couple of years, I've used my uh, my Empress boxes there, and just just to process things. And this year, I decided to go back into my old favorite sampler, which is an iOS app. Which uh, there we go. Which is, and we'll knock that one out there. Let's see uh, the ice rattling in the glass at a different octave, and uh, oh, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. And of course, I have it also. I have that's my iPad Air from about eight years ago or so, and then I also have. Um, hold on here. I also have it on. This is such a pain. I also have the original iPad. I the, I, the first iPad, and so samplers on there, and it 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 runs really good. It runs really good on all of them. So I thought, here's what I'll do. I'll, I will go get some WAV files from the past and load them up into Dropbox and then import them into uh, the iPad Air sampler. Well, I was playing around with this and a couple of things. I haven't used Dropbox in many, many years. <laughs> I just use whatever I've uh, um, loaded into uh, sampler is what I've been, I've been using for a few years. And I go back over and kind of change things and stuff like that. Working, working with the same material. So there was that, and then there was something else, and it was just kind of like, oh, wait a second. This this iPad Air from eight years ago or so, it's still on iOS 13 dot something, and the new iPads are on like 15. So like this one is not updating, or some things are not. It's the last update, right? I get those sort of notifications. Like this is, it's not updating anymore. Oh, it was, oh no, it was when it was, I was downloading Dropbox. I was downloading during the, like, we, this won't, the new Dropbox won't work on it. We'll give you the most recent one. So 
the like, ah, oh, God, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to buy to buy a new iPad, which I swore I would never do because uh, I had some uh, bad dealings with uh, bad dealings with Apple to, to acquire this one. The, the previous one had been defective and I got some bait and switch uh, customer service from Apple. It was really uh, disappointing. I did get this. I did get everything cleared up, but it left a um, left me very suspicious of, of Apple. And I was like, ah, maybe I'll just buy a used one or something like that. Well, um, what do we, what, what I see out here? Uh, yeah. So I went out to, uh, I was just looking out the internet and look at the, uh, the, the Wally Mart in Muscatine, which is about 45 minutes away. Uh, it's got one for two ninety nine. That's like 30 bucks cheaper than like everywhere else. And then I was like, do I want to drive to Muscatine in, you know, wind chills of 30 below and probably snow blown across? No, no, I don't want to do that. That's absolutely insane. So you go out to the uh, um, Apple site and pay 30 bucks more and get it delivered to my front door. Yeah, that's the way to go. So that, you know. Anyway, I was thinking about that, thinking about like, eh, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and get one. And just get one of these here. One of the 64 gigs. That's that's like four times the amount of space that this has. And uh, uh, I haven't done it yet. Haven't haven't pulled the trigger, but I'm I'm gonna do it. So anyway, I was thinking about that. So I was thinking about that when I was loading up everything for the uh, for the Disquiet uh, Hunto project, and um, got it made. Got it super made super fast. Really interesting thing, which I did, by the way, run through my Empress boxes. And so that track is out on, where did my link go? SoundCloud here. Let's bring it up here. I thought I had this already uh, preloaded. Uh, library, was it, is it my library? Uh, yeah, you got to go here. See, I use the free version. I used to use the pro version many, 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 many years ago. I used to use the pro version of SoundCloud, and and then they changed some things, and it was a little. And I went to the free version, so that's why. Again, that's why my tracks are all like a minute long, so I don't use up all the free time. But uh, so yeah, it's called Sonic Groom. It's out there, and. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I made. I'm not going to play it right here. If you want to play that, I'll provide. I guess I'll provide a link in the description to the track out on uh, on SoundCloud. So, and then there's a whole separate place where we can post among the uh, group members and things like that. And you're free to join too. It's it's a come one, come all, as far as the creativity is concerned. So there's that. I worked on that today, and uh, super fast over lunch. Now, one other thing I want to talk about, a couple other things I want to talk about. First of all, when I was dealing with Dropbox and the application and stuff like that, it it, it was giving me, it's a, it, it said, you cannot connect to Dropbox because you have too many devices hooked up to your Dropbox. And I was like, well, how, how do I figure that one out? So I went out to the web and got on there and couldn't figure out the interface, couldn't figure out what it was complaining about. And so I was like, do they have any customer service? And well, they have a chat bot. And I'm like, oh God, chat bots. I hate chat bots, but I love the Dropbox chat, but I don't know what I, t- I must've typed it in perfectly. As far as my question it was like, how do I remove a device from my account? And I did that on the chat, bot. it was something like that. I did that on the chat bot and it was like, go to your picture and settings and security and something, and then you go start deleting them. And it was like devices from like five and seven years ago. I'm like, I don't even have those anymore. Uh, you know, they were like old phones or something like that. And uh, after that, it worked. After that, it worked. It was, it was just like the iPad. Suddenly it was just like, oh, hey, hey, way, here's your files. Would you like to upload something? Would you like to go with Pro and pay 12 bucks a month or whatever it was? <laughs> Everybody's trying to get a dollar out of you, you know? Um, 
so yeah, there's that. And what else do I have for this? So yeah, Dropbox chatbot, that was pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm, and it takes a lot to impress me. <laughs> and uh, i tell you what else impressed me was waking up this morning and seeing the sound drop. Sound drop had uh, royalties for October and very happy to see those. So I'll get probably get those in about a week to 10 days, something like that. They always uh, announce numbers ahead of time. And then the other thing rolling in just before I started making this video was uh, CD Baby Pandora. Um, and, and that's rolling in. I think that's for October or November, probably October. I can't, I can't remember. But uh, so it's, and these are the typical times of the month for those royalties to show up. I kind of track that over a period of time and, and uh, it's, I, on my little, uh, what is this, Microsoft OneNote thing, it's called time of the month. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's <laughs> when the royalties show up. Usually, there's a range and everything like that. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I, I did not play around with disco last night. Uh, maybe I'll try tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just dealing with this cold weather and, and uh, making sure that the humidifiers are all filled up and the furnace stays running and, and you know, it's just exhausting. Just get into the 30s again, please. Thank you very much. Over and out. Talk to you later.